everybody, it's Kristen. So today is Sunday and I just got home from Mall of America and um, I just recorded actually a kind of tour of my outside. I decided that for tomorrow, so welcome to day 15 of the 31 days of Kristen, I would go ahead and read my dad's article from this week. I've not read it through yet. So we will just go ahead and see. I, I definitely am getting a positive response for these that you guys want to see them every once in a while. So I shall do them every once in a while. Kept, uh, Every two, three weeks, I think, is probably what I will do. So anyway, this is from July 11th, and again, it's from the Marion Advertiser, and it is not available online. I apologize for that. I wish that it was, but they're a very small town newspaper. So, okay, this is his article. Here's what I'm thinking, Pastor Skip Robertson. Well, it's official. I am retired from active ministry. In almost 15 years, I was full-time for five years and part-time for the rest Three quarter time for six months and ten months, six years and ten months, and half time for the last two years. One lesson I learned quickly in my first weeks as a minister was that ministry, quote unquote, part time, does not mean a thing. Your pastor, priest, rabbi, or other spiritual leader does not watch the clock. He or she is probably working more than full time hours in the slowest week of the year. Don't forget to say thank you sometime when you talk to him or her. As I have shared my impending retirement with people for the last several weeks, many people have asked what I will do with my time. Some retired people tell me that I will wonder how I got things done before because I'll be, I will be so busy. Others just tell me to enjoy fishing, gardening, fishing and gardening. It seems to me that there are many ways to be retired. The short answer is what I will do to The short answer to what I will do is to say I don't know yet. With that said, I will keep on with my part-time job selling ads. I plan to write a lot more. I plan to get serious about trying to publish my completed novel as I work on others. I plan to clean the storeroom in my workshop, a task that could be Herculean. I plan many things at this point, but the plans are just that, plans. In my engineering days, one of our mantras was, if you, pl if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Life is like that. There are so many things we want to do, but we need to plan ahead. I am married to a list maker. She is so organized and so good at organization that when we had all four kids at home and were planning trips and vacations, she kept lists of her lists. I admit that I could probably never be that organized. I'm good at doing things, but I'm not always good at planning. I'm one of the guys who will start a project and then have to go to the hardware store for something I meant to buy last week. Other plans. The garden should be the best ever with all the time I, have go I am going to have for tending it. Not a blade of grass will emerge before I snatch it out and toss it into the compost. Poison ivy, lamb's quarters, and purslane, I'm assuming that's some sort of weed, may as well just give up right now. The garden will look like those pictures in Mother Earth News. That will all happen right after I come home from fishing and catching my limit of panfish. Of course, if it rains, I'll stay in and write. I also know that the honeydew list is growing daily. But after those things, the garden is really going to get it. Of course, movies cost less in the afternoon, so we maybe need to take in a movie first. Seriously, there is so much I want to accomplish. Genesis 6, verse 3 says, Days shall be numbered 100... Our days shall be 120 years. Wow, that means I'm only middle-aged. I may need that many years just to get the storeroom in my workshop cleaned. Maybe this is when I can get serious about being a cranky curmudgeon. There are always things to complain about. The other day I saw a girl about 10 years old who was wearing a t-shirt that had an obscenity on it. Honestly, my daughter would not have been allowed to own such a shirt, that's true, let alone wear it in public. I wonder if her mother and father knew she was wearing it. To answer all the questions about my retirement, I don't know. My answer is that my plans are a definite maybe. If you ask me next year around this time, I'll have a better answer. For now, I have to continue writing this weekly article. Oh, no. For now, I have been asked to continue writing this weekly article, and I will. I will also continue to love and serve God wherever he leads me. I will continue to serve Jesus by presenting him to anyone who is receptive. Our service to him never ends. Christians on their deathbeds have led others to Christ. So how much more should who we are... Who, how much more should we who are healthy be working? Driving tip. On my list this week are drivers who bumper hug until they can pass you. If I am driving at a legal 
posted speed limit and you want to pass me, go ahead, but stay off my bumper, please. I brake for people walking, bicyclists, and small animals. If you hit me from behind, you are responsible. You will be ticketed and fined and your insurance agent will be unhappy with you. What's worse, my ins insurance agent will be unhappy with me. That's what I've been thinking about. Don't forget to go to church. So that is my dad's article for this week. Um, sorry, I was kind of similar over my words. I'm a little tired. Um, but anyway, that's funny that he's going to add a driving tip. I don't know if that's going to be a weekly thing or not, but I guess we'll find out. And for those of you that weren't here before, he used to always end his articles with, I'll see you in church. And since he does no longer goes to church in that community, he has changed it to, don't forget to go to church. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.